viewed at Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. On first down, it's Tannehill. He finds Corey Davis. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Now it's Tannehill off the bootleg. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Pretty good start there on plays one and two. And not discriminating at all, is he? Make sure he's spreading it around on the first two throws of the game. Two different parts of the field as well. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Keep it, keep it. This a quick pass to Davis. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and it'll be second and 12. Ready up. 98. 98 to Mike. Here we go. Here we go. Ready up. He'll get this one complete to Davis. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because right. now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 25-yard line. Defensively, they better figure something out. Opening drive, he already has four catches. And if you have to figure out how to stop him defensively, that usually means you weaken your defense. That means that now the offense is doing the dictating, and they should have other things open up as well. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. Second down run with Lewis. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And that will be incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Now Greg Joseph for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 33. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. Pittsburgh's offense trots back out. Charles, this is a team beginning of the year. You think back, they started one and four, and it's a string of 15 consecutive non-losing seasons. We thought that that was going to be snapped. Turns out it won't be snapped. It'll go to 16 consecutive seasons without a losing record. For Mike Tomlin, is this maybe his most impressive coaching job this year? I don't think there's any doubt about it in my mind. And I know that when you win a Super Bowl, there's nothing more impressive than that. But as you mentioned, starting one and four, and then go back to this. Ben Roethlisberger, their starting quarterback, their franchise face, no, gets hurt out pretty early. Mason Rudolph, very inconsistent. Remember, they traded Joshua Dobbs in the preseason, so they turned it over to Devlin Hodges, an undrafted free agent out of Samford. That's in Birmingham, Alabama, folks. Nicknamed Duck because of the Duck calling championships in his past. 
I think that's who they hand the ball to down the stretch and ride with Duck Devlin all the way to the playoffs if possible. By the way, how about that grizzly beard that Ben Roethlisberger's been sporting? How about that? Ben's got a little winter growth going right there and supporting his team, and he's hoping that that beard shows up in January when Pittsburgh's playing in the playoffs. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. On second down, here's Hodges. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. On third down, Hodges. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Adam Humphreys deep for the Titans. He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. As the Titans come back out onto the field here, this is a crew, Charles, that made a heck of a run in the middle of the season, but I, uh, they might look back at that Week 15 loss at home to Houston is the one that was the turn in the wrong direction. Had everything going in their direction, to use your word, right? Because remember, that run led to Houston coming to their place in the feature game of the week in the AFC, and they didn't win it. Remember last year, they lost to the Colts at home in Week 17, and that kept them out of the playoffs. This is a good team. Whether they make the playoffs or not, they do have a big decision to make at the quarterback spot next year. Will Ryan Tannehill, who played so well in relief of Marcus Mariota this year, will he be re-signed by Tennessee? Or will he decide he wants to try it somewhere else? That's a big question for the Titans to answer. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The intended receiver there was Jonu Smith, and it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He gets it to Brown, good play. And yeah, he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. down carry for Henry and he is out of bounds but not before he's inside the 30 that one 28 yards on the ground well partner I have to say they caught him in the right defense there nickel set fifth defensive back on the field and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender yeah because those dbs like you they want the interception they're not as worried about the running play right <laughs> not at all I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say boy i'd love to come downfield and hit you little people <laughs> good run there now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down whatever you want to call it Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're headed to chains now. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now it's Tannehill. Going for it all. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
He finds Humphreys. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Tannehill. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Bud Dupree credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining... They took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal Wait line, that still definitely hurts. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Here's Tannehill. Looking left sideline, incomplete. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Jonu Smith there to make the grab as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first and 10 is Connor. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. The big man, Jarrell Casey, in on the stop. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Hodges here on second down. And McDonald here over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. What a luxury to have a tight end that can not only catch it, but then can run after the catch like that. What was the old expression back in the good old days that they used to carry pianos yeah. on their backs when they were after they caught the football? Someone would stop and bang out a tune along the way as well. But nowadays, these guys are essentially bulked up wide receivers, and they are a full part of the passing game, and we see a lot of big plays as we just saw there. 
Now the old pass completion for no gain, not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. On the ready. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. From the gun on third down, Hodges. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Let's go now, and Schuster. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Get it ready. They'll run here with Connor. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. They come out here in the eye. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll look to run with counter. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Now it's Hodges fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. A good drive gets them inside the 5, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens, because that was the old bend-but-don't-break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. For the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Derrick Henry looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. 
Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's Tannehill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. John o. Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their head space is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Now Tannehill. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw is Tannehill. Complete. Smith has it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. He's going to go up top, and that is caught by Davis for a Tennessee touchdown. Corey Davis there to make the grab and the titans are able to extend their lead and he showcased his blazing speed on that one was he wearing football cleats or track spikes <laughs> because he was gone big time play and just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him well that's got to open things up for you as well because if i'm a defense i've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front but i'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed joseph on for the extra point and this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Joseph now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. 
The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. They trail now 14 to three, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Throwing now, Hodges on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's McDonald. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. First down, Pittsburgh. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Connor. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Ready, ready. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw on first down with Hodges. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Let's go now. 60 out now. Rock the run, rock the run. Now Hodges on first down. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Connor. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. To throw on third down, Hodges. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. They'll try to run it. This is Connor, and he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are back within a single score. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front give him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't they? Extra point put through by Boswell, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game.
Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, helped force the incompletion. Yeah, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Dumps it off to Lewis. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Here we go, step, 30 base. Hey, e, 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 e. Let's set a tone, fellas, let's set a tone. <laughs> On first and 10, Tannehill, complete, this is Lewis. On the ball. It's a gain of five, and that'll make it a second down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say, he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver that time, Adam Humphreys. And it's third and five. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. On the draw, this is Lewis. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first down, it's Tannehill. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. The Titans are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Tannehill. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space, coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. That was a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works <laughs> on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong. He's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later, but I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work out a little bit more. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. 
They're going to try the jet sweep on third and long. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They came out not so hot. The first quarter, they were sputtering a little bit. But they seem to have stayed the course and really righted the ship here in the second. Well, let's face it, all the preparation that goes into getting ready for a game, all the scouting reports, the practice, the repetition, sometimes you get a little bit of a lull to start things off. Maybe you get a little flat, but if you put in that time, you put in that effort, it can come back to you, and that's what we're seeing so far. Now can they keep that momentum going? Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Smith-Schuster, that's complete. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Titans hold the lead, and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Ready, ready. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. On third down, Hodges. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away.
That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Titan football. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, yeah. we, got the de we, got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Got it. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see what the offense gets done. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here's Tannehill. It's caught. Humphreys. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something? That guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good, too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Running jet sweep here, Humphreys. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. An 11 yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. From the 50, it's Tannehill. He gets it to Humphreys. Seven yards, the pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Henry out of the pistol. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Now what a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Play action, Tannehill. It's caught, Smith. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it, no yardage. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. They run with Lewis out of the gun. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. This one caught by Davis. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He had one touchdown earlier, nearly a second one there. Yeah, it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep him out of the end zone after a big play. Perhaps you go right back to him. Don't need the distance, but maybe he can pay things off after a big effort. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. 
The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 21 to 10 game. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Steelers' offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. It's a pickup of five. Gun Brings up second and down. Gun trip and heel. A gain of five. Brings up second and five. At the 32-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. The eight three. Watch it before. Watch it before. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Five. Got an open man. It's Washington. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun on third down, Hodges. This is Johnson, he's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. This quarterback now, pretty amazing. 14 of 16 throwing the ball. It's first and 10. Here's Hodges looking to throw. He gets this one to Johnson. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They go draw play. This is Samuels, and that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing, but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now, making some big-time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. A short game that doesn't get him the first down, Brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. And this one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Shedding through the defense. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. That's what can happen with these big running backs. Sometimes you get them slowed up. It's tough for them to get going again. You know, it's more of a boom, boom type of a runner. Got cleared past one, but then everybody else rallied. 
So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From his goal line here, Tannehill complete. Smith has it. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Jet sweep here, Humphreys. And he'll get this one up to the 26. It's big Vince Williams who made the tackle. Even though positive yardage was gained on that play, I think the defense has to be happy. Obviously, they were prepared for some trick plays coming into the game, and they look very aware that those could happen on any given down. Throwing on second and eight. Tannehill. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on. Third down. Brings up third down and eight yards to go. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 30 yards there. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Nashville, it's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, Tannehill. Pass caught left side by Humphreys. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Throwing again is Tannehill. And that's complete to Lewis. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drape back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. That was shades of Tennessee volunteer football back in the 80s with Charles Davis coming up from the secondary to make the tackle for a loss. You mean my teammates doing that, right? Because they would tell you, my coach said, where's that tape? I want to see that. But how about the complete package there? Not just playing the pass, but being a willing tackler and making a really nice play. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. Let's go!
Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Back to throw, Tannehill. This will be caught by Brown. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give them 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they start throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. Now Tannehill dumps it off to Lewis. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 11 more on that one and another first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. On second and goal, Tannehill. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now, what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you kind of run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. They've been stopped twice at the one. Can they finally break through on third and goal? They give it off here to the tight end. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Janu Smith, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. And this is what coaches talk about, never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always trying to increase it. You never know what can happen in this NFL. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Hodges now. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. On first and ten, it's Hodges. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. 
Now this pass to Vance McDonald complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And a big face mask penalty here, 15 yards. You never want to get your hands up in the face mask area because your fingers can get tangled up there, and that can hurt you as a player. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Now Connor. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Do you think after that last run, they're thinking to themselves, we had to wait all day to play this night game, and we're still not able to run the ball the way we want to? Yeah, this defense, they've risen to the challenge all evening long. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. On second down, Samuels. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it third and goal. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have. And what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottom. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. And Boswell's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns hey, anymore. Rick. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. So the solid run on first, and I would imagine no real hurry to run that second down play. No, it's all on your quarterback now. He's going to keep an eye on the play clock and bleed things down, and he's not going to let the ball be snapped until it's inside three seconds left on the play clock. Unless, of course, you're playing a video game, you're trying to run it up on your friend. <laughs> nice touch. Cold-blooded, too. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Tannehill. It's caught by Davis. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. On first and 10, Tannehill. He gets it to Humphreys. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40.
Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Completes it to Davis. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Let's go, defense. On first down, it's Tannehill. It's caught, Humphreys. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. First down, Titans gain of 12. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. Now the play clock hits zero here, and we're going to get a delay. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Tannehill. Goes underneath for Henry. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. Rush coming, and he's taken down. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. This one caught by Davis. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Now Greg Joseph for the field goal try. The kick by Joseph is good. And that will make this now an 18-point ball game. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, and I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. 
And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Second and 10, it's Hodges again. Open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other Jack way. Man, Head and Jack shoulder man, fake. Go. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run now. Here's Hodges looking to throw. This is Johnson. He's got it. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. A gain of 22 yards. First down, Steelers. On first down, here's Hodges. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. James Conner, the running back, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So now second and ten Stand after up. the incompletion on first down. Ricky, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky. Ready, ready. Second and ten now. Hodges. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. On third down, Hodges. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 33. A gain of 12. And the Steelers' first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now Hodges on first down. Open man right side is Smith Schuster complete. And they'll get this one to about the 20 let's yard go, line. Let's go, let's go. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. A gain of 14. First down, Pittsburgh. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 right, seconds left to go. on first down that is caught it's Juju for the Steeler touchdown Juju Smith Schuster there to make the grab and the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit there was a lot of zip on that pass and baseball might have called that a frozen rope I like it when you bring the diamond into the game I'm going back to the gridiron had some heat on that bad boy sometimes you throw a touchdown pass and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert.
So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Tannehill to a knee, and that ought to be the final act of this ball game. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Titans are.